M0 FXB, welcome back to my videos on the Mini SI4732 receiver. Take a look here, we've got Wi Fi and also a signal meter. Now I've just loaded the latest firmware, turn it off and on, and you'll see it's version 2. Point, oh, it's not going to show it now. Version 2.28. The, the way I loaded the firmware was using a browser, so it's a lot easier. So I just want to quickly show you this. We're going to show more tomorrow. But I'd only just loaded it. I'm just about to close down, but I thought I have to show you how good this is. Now this is one of the cheaper models. It, there's a, a better model that I've got with a with an improved speaker, but this is still sounding good. Good. Now once we get the Wi-Fi working, we can have more information from the shortwave stations that we're receiving. So now we only have to press once, you see the signal meter, press once, go down, we can select step, we can search, we've got memory, squelch, bandwidth, AGC adjustments there, and we've got, if we go into the settings and scroll down, calibrate, we've got RDS for broadcast radios, keep going, FM read in there, and then look, theme, press, watch this. Now it looks better in real life. Now I prefer the default one. Oh, that one's quite nice. I think that one's quite a nice one. And this firmware, and you check out my video, I put it, put it in the description. It's so good. So there is a Wi-Fi selection there in settings as well. Let's hit that one there. Sounding good, isn't it? Theme, UTC, zone, zoom menu. What's that? Okay, I'll put it on. I don't actually know what it does. Keep going. Scroll direction, sleep, sleep mode, load. Now, I believe this is the thing you load, but there's my Wi Fi there. You saw it come on there when I selected it, so I'll do a video. Oh, it looks like you get extra information when you do the zoom. Click connect. And then your normal settings. Changing the mode. Press, look, you've got AM, FM, upside band, lower side band. Band, volume, of course, press. Press again. Step. Different steps, how low does that go? I mean, look at that, come on. £20 delivered, the firmware's free. Got a signal meter, you don't have to have signal signal meter. You can actually have a tuning dial. Just gotta find it a minute. Uh, let's do the seek thing. I've noticed SSTV keeps pop popping up. Keep going, memory. I've not added any memories yet. Oh, I've just added one. So that's how you add memories, look. Come on, this is getting too good now, isn't it? Let's go back to settings and have a look. Wi-Fi about. There's my firmware. So, like I said, I'll link the video of how to install this. It was simple. You just need a USB cable. Oh, that did time out. Brightness, of course. Calibration. So you can just slightly change the tuning. Just compare it to another radio. Now, I did try the Wi-Fi. I'm going to do another a, a dedicated video. There's RDS when you're using broadcast stations mode band volume step seek AGC and attenuation is that? I oh, know AGC on what's AVC? AVC 
back into settings, RDS, UTC, FM region, let's press that. Didn't really change anything, select, no it's not really changing anything. Mode, ban, let's go back into settings and then we'll end the video, we're going to do more tomorrow, Just it's a bit late here for me. Uh, I'll be working out how to set up the the Wi-Fi because I don't think we're actually connected yet. The reason I know that is because it hasn't asked for the username and password. But look at the signal meter. And we're just on a wire here. Of course, it's going to sound a lot better with an external speaker. Let me grab mine. Make sure I've got one here. Bear with. Got this little thing. We are going to end the video. I'm going to get told off by my partner, by my wife, because she's going to go, you playing radio? I'm like, no. Of course not. So, right, 3.5 jack going in. I don't know how well it's going to work with this speaker that I got off Amazon it might not be the right ohm so no I don't think that's <laughs> I don't think that's working I'll just wiggle it a bit so no that speaker's not going to work that's okay and um, yeah I wonder if they're eventually going to get the white the bluetooth on this we'll be able to bluetooth it I could fine tune it, but so you got full battery showing charge there. I wonder if I can work, remember how to change the meter. Squelch bandwidth, soft mute. Go into settings, brightness calibration, RDS, UTC, FM region. Theme. We saw that's the colour changing. Ah, there it is. You, it's called UI. Is that lay? Call my eyesight so bad. Layout. Go to default. And look, when you come out and you scroll forward and back, the little red arrow moves forward and back. So thanks for watching. Of course, I've got three of these, and this is the best firmware I've used so far. It's been a while. But yeah, how good is that? And I'll tinker around with the speaker and get that working. Bye for now, 7-3.